Hey, and welcome back to the second of five principles. And this one is called the open closed principle. Another way to say this is that we are open for extension, but closed for modification. What does that mean? This means that our code should be designed in a way that allows us to easily add new features or behaviors without modifying the existing code. We should be able to extend the functionality of the software or code base by adding new code rather than changing the existing code. Now, the second part closed for modification implies that once a class module or component has been written and tested, we should avoid making changes to it. This could lead to new bugs or unintended side effects. Now let's just jump into an example to see what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have, an, we have another employee class called employee OC for open closed principle. We have two fields, so constructor, two methods that get the name and the role. And then we have this method called perform duties, which has some if else statements, depending on what role it is, then it prints out something. Now this class violates the principle because it is not closed for modification. Now look at the perform duties method. We have if else statements that say if the role is something, so if it's developer, then we print out what they're doing. But what if we want to add a new role, then what we're going to have to do is modify this existing method. Okay, that's not what we want to do. We're going to have to add another if else and depending on how many roles are eventually that will be added, you know, we're just going to always modify this method. Okay, we don't want to do that. So what can we do here? Well, one way is to introduce an abstract base class or an interface. I'm going to be using the interface for my solution. We want the interface to define common methods and then each implementation of the interface will do what they need to do, which is perform a duty. Now let's code our solution. So for our solution, again, I'm going to be using an interface. Now the interface is going to have two methods. It's going to get the name and we're going to have the method for perform duties. We don't need to get the role since each role is going to be defined by the implementation from the employee class. Let's just code this and see what I mean. First thing I'm going to do is create the interface class. So I employee an interface, and then we need to give it the two methods that we want. So we're going to say string get name and then void perform duties. Okay. So now each implementation that we have for I employee, such as developer or manager are going to have to fill in these methods. Now, if we look back at before we had three different roles. We had developer, manager, and tester. So let's go ahead and create the developer one. So new class, call this developer. And then we have to implement the I employee. And now this is going to force us to implement the methods from the interface. So the first thing is we need a private string, oops, string name. And then we need our constructor, which is public developer string name, and then this dot name equals name. So we're just going to replace the name here. And then for perform duties back in the employee OC class, we said that we're going to print out that this person is coding. So back in the developer, we're going to say system dot out dot print and whoever, whoever's name this is, they're going to be coding. Okay. And that's it. That's one of the implementations for the employee class. Okay. So now we have a manager class and a tester class, and these are all implementations of the I employee interface that we created. Okay. So now the principle again, open for extension, closed for modification. Now before in the employee OC class, let's say we want to add another role called scrum master. So we would say else if role dot equals scrum master. Whoop. And then we could just say that they are scrumming. So we'd say name plus is scrumming. Okay. Now, every time we want to add another role, we're going to have to go into this method in this class and modify it. That violates the principle. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here in the after package, and we are going to just create another employee implementation. So we're going to say scrum master implements, implements I employee. And again, we have to implement the methods. And now each time we want to add another one again, I'm, I know I'm repeating myself, but I just need you to understand that all we have to do is come in here, create another implementation of the employee, and we're not modifying the employee itself. 
okay? We're extending its functionality to different types of employees. Okay, so we just got the basics down of the open close principle. It's one of the easier of the five because there's not a lot to it. It's pretty straightforward. And just to repeat myself one more time, we want to allow our code to be able to be extended, but closed for modification. With that, I have a link to the GitHub in the description, and here is the first principle video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.